This is SAT 3310. We're talking about Perl and SQL. This is a lab example review. Uh, in this lab example, what I've done is uh, started again with just my standard header block. Uh, make sure you've got your shebang with your script. Uh, first thing I want to do is make sure that we're going to be using the Perl DBI. Um, make sure that you've installed the Perl DPI for SQL Lite 3. Uh, if you're going to be using SQL Lite 3 as in these examples, uh, you could just use either a yum or DNF install uh, Perl class DBI SQL Lite. Uh, lots of good websites uh, for references. Um, these are uh, really nice areas to go to and review for using uh, SQL with Perl. Here I've set my variables, uh, set my local path and SQL file, setting up my data source name and my database handle. Uh, these are all pretty standard, so you don't need to change these uh, for purposes of this lab. Here I'm setting my SQL statements. Uh, I like setting it as a variable because I can go back and just modify that one SQL statement variable and then use it later on. Uh, in these examples, uh, what I'm doing is selecting the manufacturer, the average best altitude and account of the wireless access point, and I'm grouping them by the manufacturer and sorting them by the average altitude. Uh, set the uh, SQL statement handle object, which is um, just, I'm just saying statement handle object, which is my database handle. I'm preparing the SQL statement, and then I can just say statement handle execute to uh, retrieve that information. Once that information has been retrieved, all I need to do then is um, go through each row in the statement handle and print the manufacturer, which is item zero, the average best altitude, which is item one, and then the count, which is item two. Uh, after that, we can just disconnect from the database and we're done. That completes the lab.